Hey everybody, it's me, Sean, and welcome to a new Let's Play of Terroir, the winemaking tycoon game. That's right, we are back. We haven't played this game for quite a while, since it was first released, really. Although they did a bunch of updates when we first started, but they're up to update version 2.3.2. In 2.3, they added AI competitors and, um, like, a, a wine, um saturation system so like the more you sell the less valuable it is and uh, a bunch of other cool features there's like taverns and stuff now but we're going to find out all these things as we get going uh, another one of the new features is they have uh, difficulty levels so we'll go ahead and start it on the challenging difficulty we'll throw in two ai competitors i believe they take a couple of years before they show up so we'll be safe to get started and set up our vineyard um i'm going to name our um name our uh, vineyard after one of my patrons patreons on the patron whatever a patron from the patreon page patreon.com slash vanilla pc strategy there's a vanilla strategy i don't know you can just google it or follow the link in the description below but i'm not going to talk about it much anymore if you would like your name in the game that's how you do it we're going to call it green hagen after our friend ben green hagen thank you ben for your support let's go ahead and create that and here we are. We are in our winery. Close that down. I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, so we have a loam tile, of course. We have our uh, thing, which I guess you can't click on anymore. This would tell us the market saturation, so you can see everything's at zero. The new wine varieties are there, the Grenache and Semillon. Um, but we're going to start with Chardonnay, as usual. There's a wine log, so you can see all the wines that you've made and how well they did. Uh, a bunch of tutorials, which are really interesting, so we can find out all the details, like market saturation, how it affects all the prices and everything. If it has a plus five, the prices will be reduced by 5% and so on. Um, and uh, there's a bank, you can take out a loan if you need to, which is real nice. Of course, we have all the ambient objects, including the overpowered uh, wind turbines. Um, here we have our uh, uh, state upgrade. Um, our seller uh, is in this page. We can take a look at the market. We don't have any wines to sell, of course. The distributors have stayed the same. And um, a little thing that tells us when we have merchants available to sell wine to. But we don't need to worry about those things yet. Let's go ahead and speed up the clock and get to our first varietal. All right, so we're going to go ahead and plant a Chardonnay. So that's the way to go, plant. And hopefully the weather will cooperate with us and we'll be able to make it through the first couple of years. It can be a little tricky, but I think we'll do all right. We're gonna get these shears out because we're gonna need to keep that foliage cut close. This is fine, but if it turns out to be a cloudy, rainy year, it might be miserable for us again. I'm gonna try not to try not to complain too much about the weather. I know that I did that a lot in the previous series, but that's because the weather is the one thing really that you can complain about because it's uh, it's uh, kind of random in its nature, and of course it causes all sorts of problems. Here we've got fungal rot going on, which is a bummer. But hopefully that sun will come out now that it's summertime. There we go. Maybe it will dry up that rot if we're lucky. There we go, it looks like it has. Good, okay. Now let's see if we can get a reasonable harvest out of this. I wanna let it grow. Uh, another new feature, you can see how the month is passing by looking at that. Oh, we, we have a, a sunburn, so that's too bad. Um, and, and, and the ripeness just continues to go up. Uh, I was really, uh, Hoping we get some rain and maybe the ripeness would go down a little, but it does not seem to be doing that. So there's some rain, but it's not, yeah, it's not gonna save us anything. Um, so let's go ahead and harvest. All right, well, <clears throat> we uh, did not have the greatest uh, harvest <laughs> this year. Um, uh, it is gonna be a little bit of a challenge for us. I should have, I should have um, harvested uh, at the very beginning of September when uh, when we had a reasonable I think it was like a seven it was a little high but we could have we could have made it work but here we can bring the sweetness down 
We can still make this work. It's just going to take a little bit of time. So we want to bring the sweetness down to like six, I think. Uh, so every two weeks brings it down by one. So that's going to be nine, eight, seven, six. So let's do that. It's just going to be a while before we start getting a return on our wine. And of course, we can't take a loan out yet because we don't have any money. And uh, of course, we're going to have to pay to bottle our wine as well. So we've got a few challenges, but you know, we started on hard difficulty. That's the kind of the point. Don't want it to be too easy. Uh, I could probably speed up the clock since it's going to automatically tell us when the ferment fermentation is done. And we're going to get to juggle this with uh, maintaining our stuff at the same time. Okay, so this increases the acidity by one. Uh, so for tannins, let's see, I, if I remember right, it drops two tannins for every one acidity. So we're going to want to drop tannins down a couple, like two months worth of tannins. So, uh, well, I'm going to want the acidity up. For, it's going to, let's see, if I drop tannins by four and acidity by two, I'm going to get around six. Um, so that would be... I'd want to have acidity at 8, right? So 80%. Oh, wait, 70% will get us up to 8. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and press that. And, uh, all right. So now we want to throw it in the barrel. There we go. Acidity by 1, tannins by 2. We're going to let it go for 2 months. So we'll go beginning of March, beginning of April. That's when we'll bottle it up. And meanwhile, we've got our next harvest coming in. That's got the plants already starting to grow there. We need to watch for the beginning of April. Beginning of April. Beginning of March. See if we can maintain these plants better than we did last year. Money is getting tight, but you don't automatically go bankrupt when you get down to zero anymore like you used to. So that's nice. But you do go bankrupt eventually if you're running in the red. Um, okay, so we should... There we go. Okay, so we have a bonus, but we also have a malice. Uh, but we've got straight sixes across the board. I like that. This is a white wine, so we want to put it in a white bottle. We'll go ahead and put a cork on that. It's going to cost us $1,800. We can afford that, sort of. And we shall organize a tasting. Hello, wine tasters. Come join me. Invite to tasting, please. Four stars, which is what we expected. Acidity was too low. Okay. Hmm. I'll just see if I can remember that. Done. Let's sell it. Now, Manhattan Cellars, I believe, is the one that we want to try for because they will give us the uh, uh, price bonus if we can get their rating up. Hmm. So let's go ahead and let them sell. And meanwhile, we want to keep an eye on this. We'll check back with Manhattan in, I guess... April, May, June. See how they're doing. Or, well, I don't know. I mean, we can, it's pretty easy to just check back in. We can just check back in in May, to be honest. All right, so we are getting a little bit of ripeness out of here. Oh, so that doesn't automatically click through, huh? That would be, it'd be nice if it did. All right, market. Okay, they sold all of them. Oh, no, they're still, they're still waiting to sell 120. Right. Wait. But it says I don't have any available. But I didn't sell them all. Oh, oh, I see. Great. Okay. Yeah, so I can't add any more. I still have 180 overall available. Very good. All right, that's fine. Kitty wants to say hi. Hello, Kitty. I don't know if you could hear him in the background there, but he's, uh, he's jealous. Looks like we got that fungal rot going again, so hopefully the weather cooperates with us rain that is not cooperating weather um, let's uh, take a look at our market again still waiting to sell 60 okay so next month they should be cleared out of there cut back that foliage it's cloudy weather for summer there we go cleared up nice ah there we go five very good Six, slow down. 
Oh, that's right. And I should be able to sell sell some more of these bottles. All right, we're gonna sell. Now, oh, well, you'd only you would take 99. That's weird. How about I send you 90? Ah, good. That boosted my relations again, so I can keep boosting those up. And it looks like it's unpaused. And uh, gosh, I, again, we got sunburnt. We're gonna get some rain. Mm, we are not gonna get any rain. I mean, I may as well wait and see if we can get some rain to to lower the ripeness before November. It's not gonna get any worse than this ridiculously overripe. October. November, that did not help. All right, well, happens. Um, let's take a look at our bottles here. Can I sell any more? Weird, you're only gonna let me sell 54? How many times do I have to go through doing that? At least it keeps boosting up my, uh, boosting up my relationship with them. Okay, so once again, same thing as last time. So we wanted to get our acidity higher, right? I think is what they told us. I'm gonna go ahead and crush those grapes. Nothing to worry about with that. There we are. And um, so decreases sweetness. Again, we wanna go by four. So one, two, three, four. Let that ferment for a while. Let's see if we've... Uh, Got any, can we sell any more bottles? You're still waiting to sell bottles. I could sell all of them to there. Strange that uh, um, it keeps, uh, <laughs> it keeps dropping. Um, yeah, well, I'm just gonna close that down. There we go. I'll let that ferment. And uh, just gotta wait for February again. Although maybe in January, uh, how's the selling looking on our existing? Waiting to sell 36, ugh, boy oh boy. That's how many I have left. Just wanna get rid of all this wine. All right. Speed it up. Uh, fermentation still in progress, February is coming. We're not quite broke yet, that's good news. We're gonna have some wine to sell. Okay, so I want to increase my acidity from last time it was at six, so I want it to be at seven. So I guess I wanna get it up to nine. So eight would get it up to nine. If I know my math, ah, I do know my math. All right, French oak. Oh, so March, I think. I guess we can always just take a look. That's not like, uh, we don't have to open it up as soon as we look at it. All right, so here, ah, still selling, waiting to sell 18 bottles, come on. All right, that's fine, maybe next month. Um, we've got um, this starting to, to sprout up again. Oh, look at that, it's already ripening. Not bad. All right, it's March. What do we got going on here? We have. Seven, six, 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 beautiful, let's bottle it. And a cork, uh-oh, I'm not gonna have enough money to bottle this stuff. We're gonna do it anyways though. Bottle that up. And, yep, neither one of them are all that great. We need to organize a tasting for this one though. Let's see how people feel about it. No two star ratings yet though. So let's invite these guys to the tasting, four stars. Not what I expected. Still says acidity was too low. Hmm. Oh, the old one was at five. Weird. All right, well. Um, oh, we could sell 234 to this one now if I want to. Kind of. I'm gonna go ahead and do 180 again. Great. And um, I wanna just get rid of these wines. So I'm just gonna drop them at uh, these various wine cellars. There we go, and there we go, sell, and great. Okay, that clears that out. That's done. Minus $700, not good. Ghoul.
What's going on with the... Oh, those must be the grapes on there, I guess? No foliage. Oh, they have Phalaroxa. How the heck? How do we already have Phalaroxa? The, the, my winery is only two years old. I thought you weren't supposed to get that for like five years. That's very unfortunate. Maybe I misunderstood the tutorial. Let's see here. Because I that was one thing I looked at before I started it up. Uh, oh, all vines are susceptible to Fullerexa. Chance are as follows. At zero to five years of age, vines are immune to Fullerexa. Yeah. Well, apparently not these vines, which are two years old. Liars. Huh. All right, well, what are we going to do? Nothing. You can't. You can't do anything. They're they're gonna have them forever, unless I uproot them, which I just can't afford to do. Be a real drag if. Uh... Oh my gosh! It's already up to seven ripeness. Well, this rain is coming at just the right time. Hopefully, it will. There we go. Do that, and let's take a look at our sales. Bottles, sell. Still waiting to sell 60 more bottles. All right, that's fine. Do not want to get too much uh, foliage, optimum foliage. That's fine, optimal foliage. Quite happy with that. Turn the speed back up. And in July, I will want to um, check back in with our distributor. There we are. Up oh, now they're overexposed to the sun. How how are they overexposed to the sun? They have optimal foliage. It's hard difficulty. That's what I'm gonna say. All right, let's actually look at some bottles, shall we? There we go. 126 can go to this guy, and I will go ahead and sell 54 to that one and get it over with. All right, so. They will buy our wines for 10% or more. I like it. But we only want to sell them the high value wines because again, looking at the tutorial, it explained that, um, where is it? Um, if we look and distributors and selling your wine. Uh, five star wines. Uh, Okay, that's not what I want. There we go. Um, that's not it though. It's your distributor relationship rating. Every time a player sells a five star wine, the rating increased by two. If you sell less than 30% of your stock, your rating decreases by one. However, if your rating is distributed with five, your rating does not decrease this way. It only decreases from five to four if you sell the distributor a wine of less than four stars. Okay, so four and five star wines I want to sell to this guy that likes me. The rest of them I can just sell to whoever. All right. I do want to try to get my yield up if we can because we've had fairly low yield years. There we go. Good. Just want to make sure my ripeness stays reasonable. The little sunburn thing has gone away. Nope, I spoke too soon. But the yield is still increasing and the ripeness is not. I like it. There we go. That'll actually help. Well. Don't let it get too low. But we're getting a lot more yield out of this, which is nice. All right. Let's go ahead and harvest. Much better, five, six, five, five. I like it. 1.4 tons, that is a lot. And we have a plus one rating, potentially. Okay, so we're going to do pipage. Ah, and we have positive money again too, great. Right, we'll crush those up, I crush, I crush your head. Very nice. And now we shall ferment. Decreases sweetness by one. We don't need to decrease sweetness by any. So we're just going to turn it around immediately. Tannins. I guess we're going to want to decrease tannins. And we're going to want to... So I want an acidity of 8. So I want to do 3. There we go. And now we'll barrel. 
and we only have one option. We're going to do that. And in January, we'll pull it out. So let's, uh, let's see if we have any remaining wine to sell. We don't. Hmm. I could have swore we did. Okay, good then. Uh, so next month, we shall sell this one. Let's speed up that clock. And uh, looks like we're going to manage to make it through another year without going broke. Okay, so here, 7656. Six. I'll take it. Bottle. It's a white one. And there, $4,800. So this will put us into the... Uh, put us into the red, unfortunately. But I think we'll be able to sell our way out of it. Still no two-star vendors, uh, but well, five-star wine with these guys is beautiful. So let's go ahead and sell those, and we'll sell 720 from here, which will be very nice. Now, I could sell, let's see, I have to sell more than a third to get the two, so that'd be uh, 82. Although I get such a better price from, is it really worth it to uh, boost my rating up? I could get a, if I sell just like one, I could get one relation, right? Seems kind of gamey to do that. All right, let's uh, see what happens. Oh, I got two points. Well, that makes even less sense, uh, but that's fine. I'm not gonna, uh, <laughs> I'll take it. And we've gotten a renown, so that means we could conceivably get a loan from the bank if we need to. We could borrow 3,000 and a maximum of our current renown multiplied by 2,000. Oh, okay, so we can't. We can't get a loan. We wouldn't be able to get enough of a loan to, uh, to, to get us in the positive anyways. I'm really not sure when bankruptcy sets in. Hopefully not like as soon as the month changes or something. Oh, look at that, we are back in black. Fantastic. All right, looking at our bottles here. Well, since it worked last time. Although it dropped back down, whatever. Selling one bottle is fine with me. Get these guys up to five. I don't remember what, one of them will buy every bottle you have, <clears throat> which is nice if I need to move something. And the other one, I don't remember what it does. Not as good of a bonus as the other things. That's all I mostly remember. All right. Well, we didn't make as much money. Oh, no, we do. Wow. Made a lot of money. $11,000. Great. We must have sold a bunch from the good distributor. And they will take 177 And I'll sell one. Oh, sell. There you go. And I'll sell... Oh, you're waiting to sell one bottle? Well, that's weird. But if you insist. Oh, they must have sold their one bottles. This thing popped up. All right, looks like it. There we go. And of course our uh, Chardonnay is ripening up. Oh, that's nice, a little bit of rain. I'll let it get to the first stage. Actually, I might even let it get to the second one, just so it can grow because summertime is usually when it's sunny, and I can trim it back at that point. We, and we've been having a lot of problems with sunburn, so I really don't want to uh, overexpose it. I would like it to be at like a ripeness of four when I kind of uh, stop the uh, ripening thing, but you know, we'll do the best that we can. Alright, so... Sell. And, oh, they're still waiting. All right, so if I do 25 there, and 25 there. All right, great. Okay, so worker actions, except clear forest and plant forest are free. And you will sell 100% of my bottles. Very nice. Okay, done. Done. All right. And I might hold on to those seven bottles just to keep them around. All right, so you have um, leafed up a little bit. I'll take it. We're going to... Oh, no, you're rotting. That's not good. Let's... I guess uh, I want that rot to dry off. There we go. But now I run the danger of, yeah, over-ripening. 
A uh, nice late summer rain would be beautiful about now. Uh, I might want to harvest it right when September comes around instead of... Ah, dang it. I've already got the sun burn thing. There we go. All right. Uh, looks good, though. 7877 seems like a good set of numbers. We will crush those up. And... Actually, uh, this looks like a good time to put a break in this episode. So, hey, everybody, thanks for coming back and watching this. Uh, I am excited, uh, excited to see all the new features and stuff and see where the game goes. Um, we're going to have a, a, an AI opponent show up here before too long. We're going to have enough money to buy another field before too long. The lake right there. Oh, a lake would be nice. That would take care of our phylaxa problem. We do still have that phylaxa, right? Yeah. Phylox Phylloxera? Anyways, um, another lake up there. Um, so, yeah, buying this lake probably would be good. And let's see, we have loam. It'd be nice if I could buy uh, the right type of Jason. I want to try to stick with Chardonnay for a while rather than try to juggle multiple kinds. Um, that's all right, though. Uh, so we'll probably buy this lake next episode. And, uh, yeah. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this. Click that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. Bye.